Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. And today we are, of course, continuing to build our Duna space station. And this time we're launching the Living Module. Now you'll have to bear with me. I do. It has been a while since I designed. Well, a few days anyway, since I designed and tested this craft. So. If I remember correctly, I had to do a really slow gravity turn because the thrust to weight ratio on some of these things ain't that great. If I remember correctly, hopefully I won't screw it up too badly. So, let's launch. This, yeah, it might be a bit laggy on the beginning. We're talking 250 parts here. And I'm really enjoying the Unity 4 version of Kerbal Space Program, it is noticeably, and I do mean noticeably, faster. So, yeah. Lots of these LVT-45s, and that's mostly all I'm using on top of the one nuclear rocket for the transfer stage, and the solid boosters, which actually help us get off the ground. Okay, now let's start doing a really tiny gravity turn right now so that we do not rain flaming debris on top of our launch tower. It's something we might might want to avoid for role-playing reasons. Not that it has any real consequences yet, but it's a thought. And it's really nice. I think the technicians would appreciate it. Anyway, these are almost spent, so the lag should get better very shortly. Detach those. Now, once those are have moved away from our craft for a bit, we should be a lot better off. This is at half, and we're gonna turn over to 80 degrees. And yeah, I will turn off slowly, but I'm just starting a bit early, I suppose. As you can see, we're not accelerating too quickly. The thrust to weight ratio is not that epic, but really, the LVT 45s, the 45s are more effective than main cells as far as full consumption for thrust is concerned, and they're also lighter. A cluster of four of these is lighter, and well, I figured it would be better than having a really big cluster of engines here. I mean. You know, having a double set of... Damn it! Anyway, having... You know... Larger boosters with main cells, it just... Didn't seem like a good idea. Now, holy crap, we're actually decelerating there for a bit. That won't last for long. We're gonna keep going at... S 60 degrees, and then we will slowly, and I don't mean slowly, level off. Actually, what's our apoapsis look like? It's not too bad, and we're moving the time to apoapsis going up, which means that we need to turn up, turn further. Okay, so. Getting these things into orbit is by far one of the hardest moments. The actual orbital maneuvering, especially in interplanetary space, you have plenty of time to get it right and to turn and to plan your maneuvers, but getting into orbit, that's like balls to the wall kind of deal. Do you know what I mean? Okay, now does this have a thingy? It does not. It will have to do this with these attached. It should be able to, hopefully... Hopefully. I've designed it to be capable of that. Okay, now that should give us plenty of time to burn off most of this fuel, and I will risk using 2x. Not gonna go as high as 3x, but uh, 2x we can do. Turn off even further, and this is starting to look pretty okay, actually. Our speed is picking up faster and faster, and we still have a full fuel tank for each of these boosters. Okay, I think we've... I think we're gonna make it. 
into orbit I mean kill that that looks good turn over completely and be ready to ditch those tanks the moment they are spent okay why did I add extra ones there what was my logic on that I wonder well I generally don't make many mistakes you know oversights in design well once I'm done running simulation flights anyway but I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later now where are our Kerbo moons. Kerbo moons are fine, they will not interfere with our thingy. We are in a stable, maintainable orbit. Ledich. Slight acceleration. Make sure we just drift clear. Don't catch on anything. Keep going. And run away! Run away before they realize what happened there. There we go. We are done with those. Turn towards the horizon. And I should be able to do a couple of X's. Okay, that's bad, but it should be safe, I think. Now, worst case scenario, we are unable to dock this and we'll need to put a crew member inside there in order to pilot it and dock it together if things go real badly. That is a possibility, but uh, should be okay. Yeah, I suppose at this point and yeah, let's just aim ourselves like that and we should be good. I believe we can do 2x relatively safely though. It shouldn't be a problem. It's uh, 3x that's the problem. I'm gonna leave those undeployed until we get where we're going. And this is looking... Okay, I'm gonna quick save and then we're gonna go for whoa 4x is too much but th three times acceleration we can handle I think let's go for that okay okay we are still accelerating I would like to escape on this orbit I really would And some extra fuel which we'll be able to use to top off our fuel tank at this station which is really good since well you get the idea and as for the transfer stage you know the bit which is you know the extra bit there we will just slam it into Duna like we normally do and damn that is not as I might wish it okay on the next orbit the moons should still be in an acceptable position Minmus might be a problem actually but we should be okay-ish and let's accelerate should back in our proper position for our burn I mean 3x just 3 let's not overdo it this thing is a bit fragile even with the extra struts on the connections okay and go for Duna yeah we m oh actually no we'll be fine Minmas does not intersect our plane at that point. We're good. Okay. 
burn continuing just fine Tuna should be in an acceptable position unless I screwed it up in which case we'll have to do an orbit or two before we can get a proper capture unfortunately but we shouldn't need to that is continuing we have a decent escape yes this should be double we have plenty of extra fuel so we should be fine fact these designs are all built I could probably manage to build a similar station somewhere around Jewel or Dress with the same designs possibly and actually that thought is attractive say studying Val because Val has uh, anomalies Val most definitely has anomalies and we might wish to study those okay and we will need to fix our node here on the blue line on the blue no on the blue there we go that green one is the one we'll get after intersecting with Duna okay so nine and a half that brings it uh, I can't tell anyway let's just okay let's get a bit closer okay ten minutes past will do I suppose actually we need to turn the other direction and let's make our adjustment we need a slight nudge northwards as far as the star is concerned there we go yeah Fuck ton of fuel, no problems there, I believe. The batteries are, of course, here. There are batteries to make sure that the crew don't run out of heat when they are in, and freeze to that when they are in the dark side of the planet. And of course, I know such things are not in the game yet, but. Uh, all the same it seemed like a cool idea besides space stations look better with lots of solar arrays in any case eh, so the inclination change is another problem shouldn't be a problem considering how much fuel we have the docking that worries me a tiny bit if it's too unbalanced we might have a problem maybe but I, I'm hoping that the amount of RCS I have on there is enough for what I'll try to do and that we actually have a bit of left over to transfer into the fuel depot if possible encounter what is our encounter gonna look like can we do an adjustment do we want to do an adjustment looks like we're coming in 270 and nah I'm willing to go with this it's gonna be fine oh no we're in a 90 degree one I was wrong nice okay set as target and we will kill our we're gonna turn towards 270 and kill our um, Horizont, lots of our horizontal movement and bring ourselves in a little closer maybe even drop us into a stable orbit although for that let's wait a bit until we are tiny bit closer to where we're going okay and now let's do this this will bring our periapsis closer into the planet and kill our well, it will bring our perhaps closer into the plant and kill some of our speed, so that should help 
with the dropping us into orbit part somewhat we might have to do more than that but we should be relatively okay oh yeah wonderful fuel is looking just excellent it's barely sipping fuel and these big tanks well that's plenty of it there we go bringing it in bringing it in last thing we want of course is to have a encounter with Ike okay let's just I have no intention of doing a gravity sorry not a gravity thingy so much as a aero braking maneuver with this valuable and fragile piece of equipment and none whatsoever okay 3x we are good okay coming in almost perfectly this time around excellent excellent bit of a wobble cause of our shifting thingy okay if you burn more vertically then your retrograde marker your perapsis should go up again from what I've observed and theoretically not that I can actually explain my reasoning in words but it makes sense in my head <laughs> not that that necessarily should impress you very much and crap go away go away okay here's a thought maybe we want to burn lower down as far as this is concerned you know actually final dropping into orbit maneuver although now we're relatively good and once again an Ike encounter okay that's making that go down slight shift northwards I mean okay and another one we should be almost in orbit and another one okay we want okay okay let's kill the time warp and okay now if I burnt downwards here whoa okay let's do it like this I'm gonna burn downwards here towards 180 and we'll try to get rid of some of this and then once we get our periapsis we will kill our remaining we'll you know drop ourselves into a lower orbit and then on next orbit we'll finish off the nodes okay 0 0.2 that's relatively okay-ish and there is our thingy in orbit which is a apparently a duna lander and not a oh holy crap Would you look at that okay let's try to plan out a maneuver that does both if possible that is too much there we go okay and that is too much that is about right. That is too little. That seems about right. Okay, let's turn towards our marker and prepare for about oh four minutes. But in three X that won't be too long, and we are almost there. On the next flight, we can actually start bringing the crew over, and then this thing will be fully operational. No well, more or less maybe the crew transport could use a computer module for the 
trip back or something and yeah or something okay 4x I kind of decided I didn't want to do that didn't I we might have to do a few orbits before we can match up with it actually by the looks of things but even so we're almost done yeah opposite sides of the planet unfortunately right now but even so the manure is working out just did it work out faster than the computer thought it would? It did. That might be a slight problem in that it will make things a little different from what was predicted, but even so it should be okay-ish. Okay, actually. Okay. Next one let's just let's be ready to okay yeah we need to turn around and bring that in and we'll do just that and then well then all the docking hoopla you know how it is and there we are mr. retrograde and the eventual separation is going down just like we want it to. Okay, and uh, a little more. Okay, I suppose that will have to be good enough. Okay, that's not too much relative speed, actually, that's pretty good. And we are more or less perfectly aligned. But let's push that towards our target marker so we can come in closer to it. Eventually. Okay. What's going on here? We are moving straight away from it apparently. I might have done that wrong. Okay. We want a nice close approach of, say, <laughs> 100 meters or so. Okay, <laughs> that will not do. The curvature of our orbit is gonna screw us over on that. Need more speed or more speed. Okay, that is pretty damn excellent. Okay, now let's turn around so we can we are ready to kill it when that eventuality comes up and then we'll go in for our docking and hopefully manage everything all right. Okay. Come on, SAS. Okay, there we go. Okay, that is looking good. That's the ship loading. Should be able to kill this much speed in a couple of seconds at an insane burn rate thingy. Okay, those are the solar panels. How are we oriented? actually I can't make out the details quite as well as I would like 
In any case, I need to kill this relative speed. We can maneuver in once we've slowed ourselves down. Well, most of it needs to be killed. This is about right. We can keep moving slightly. Okay, now let's just zoom in. Okay, we are exactly on the wrong side. So we need to turn towards it and go straight past it, apparently. Okay, alright, our computer core is on the bottom, so it's being weird when I do that. The speed in, uh, sorry, the distance indicator, I mean. Actually, that is not exactly, shall we say, wise. Let's offset our path a bit so we come close but don't smack into it. Destroying it in a docking manure would be uh, a bad omen, shall we say. Can't imagine why, but it would be. Actually, turn faster, damn you. No, we want to burn the other way. I want to adjust myself even further. It just occurred to me that there are solar panels there, which might not enjoy being smacked into. There we go. That should be better. That should be better. Now we need to be ready to kill this relative speed. Yeah. Okay, and now let's push ourselves back towards it some. Since we have drifted away. Okay, that is again too much. Yeek! Yeek! No! No! Crap! Now I'm moving away from it. Okay, calmly now, calmly. S if you can't move it quick, if you can't turn quickly to adjust, then you need to move at slower speeds to give yourself more time. Okay, kill that, and we want to go like this. Well, below will do, I suppose. Okay, we are relatively close to where we want to be. Relatively. Of course, DSS takes time to correct. We are now moving away from it. Okay. First of all, let's point straight. Actually, let's kill that first somewhat. Now let's point straight at it. And we have to make sure that we are rotated correctly to make our solar panels line up properly. Okay, so let's turn ourselves like this. That should help. That's that way. Okay. This seems semi intuitive. Like that. Okay. Okay, that seems okay ish. Not ideal by any stretch, but manageable. Okay. Okay, we are coming in. That's our retrograde. Okay, that is that. Okay, we are more or less aligned with the target. Let's. Okay, I'm assuming it's more or less on the 270 line then. No. 
Okay. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, and we are moving more or less towards it the way we should. No, shouldn't have moved. Okay, no, I think I might need to be aiming a bit more up. It's definitely aligned with the 270, the docking port I'm going for. But, um... There. How much RCS did we spend? Okay, a lot. But we should be able to manage it. Okay. Slowly. Not that slowly. We want to keep going in, but... Okay. We want to kill off our relative movement and we want to move up a bit and even more up and even less forwards okay at least those are aligned properly there we go semi semi good Okay, okay, we are attracting, we are attracting, it should be able to mate with that thing. I'm gonna turn the SAS off and just let it figure out its life meaning on its own. Oh damn, that is brutal. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, dock already. Don't rotate that far. We need you. Okay, it says back on and we'll just toggle it on and off. Okay. Yes, downwards with the downwards and pitch up. Okay, okay, move your ass down. Okay, it should be almost there. Okay, I see it's back on. As back, front up, as down, front up. Okay. How about now? Nope. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time war bad. Time war real bad. Damn, look at those things flex. Come on. Okay, we are misaligned like that as well. Now we want to that way and turn like this into. There we go, damn it. Okay. Whoa, look at that wonderful wobble there. Can I... Of course there's no way to disable the SAS on these things. There. Flexing goes away. Transfer that in. Transfer that in. Okay, and 
that is half spent. Let's let's fix up the fuel situation before we undock the thingy. And it occurs to me that with the lander docked the way it is, we might not be able to dock any other ships to this thing. That is worrying. Okay, this one needs a bit more as well. Okay, we're done on that. Couple that. We're gonna turn ourselves downwards and burn towards the planet for a teeny tiny bit in order to get clear of the station and then we'll do our deorbit. Like so. Okay, time warp. They're good. Now let's turn around and do a crazy burn to get rid of this extra stage. Come on, darling. We're almost there. And goodbye. Oh. There, you are done. And we are too far away from that to select it. Okay, space center. Tracking station. We'll do it like this. Fly this. Okay, this is starting to look like an actual station. Definitely something that we can work with. It does vibrate a lot. Use the time warp and... Okay, first of all, let's extend all of these. There we go. Go plenty of energy just waiting for people. Now these docking ports are useless unless I turn the lander and actually yeah the thing is that even with that it would be a pain to dock there but luckily we have some more on the back of this here and on the back of this here and actually docking the crew on the back of this living module would make more sense because it would be easier for them to transfer over in any case so yeah that being said I will probably redock this lander there in a more sensible manner at a later date just not yet. And yeah, we're full on fuel, not full on RCS, unfortunately, but that can't be helped. Again, unfortunately, and if this needed some adjustments to its orbit, it could theoretically turn and use the lander's engines to push it. So I would say that it's okay, let's, let's watch this thing for a bit. There we go. Now that's a pretty picture. Ooh, ah, yeah, give it to me, darling. Give it to me. Ooh, yeah. Lots of screenshots. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.